Think about it. 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 What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa if you got the money. You know, family, you know, I want to say this lightly, and I'm not trying to offend anybody or hurt anybody. We got to do better. Why would you want to leave a country that you're struggling in to go to a country, a continent, you're going to struggle worse? Why would you leave a country that you can't make it in and then try to go to a continent that you're not going to make it in? Why would you leave a country and you have not considered the cost? And when you get to the other country or continent, the cost is killing you. Why would you leave a country that you barely have a pot to piss in to go to a country where there's no pot to piss in? Why would you leave a country that you have not made something of yourself to go to a country where you won't even have the possibility to make something of yourself? What am I saying, family? I've said this in many of my videos, but I'm quite sure there are many who just watch one or two videos. Understandable. But when it comes to my channel and motivating and encourage people to go to Africa, I have said time and time again, you have to have your money intact. You cannot be going to Africa looking for a job. For if you are not self-made in America, it's going to be hard for you to go to Africa and start a business. If you have never done business before, it's going to make it that much more harder because business is done different in Africa. I have seen people who go to Africa, start businesses and go broke. I haven't even made it a year. And I've said this before, is that if you don't have the capital, some people don't even understand what a capital is. If you don't have money in the bank sitting that can take care of your business after your business is going through some suffering, that it can sustain your business for two years without you making money. Not you going to come go to Africa and start with $5,000. You exhaust your money and expect your business to start making money that month. This is where we are. We have a lack of knowledge, family. I'm getting emails. I'm getting responses and WhatsApps. I'm even, I've, I've even responded to some of these people. People are, are having GoFundMes. We are a people that ha are so used to this, a handout. And then when you all who helped them because they didn't do their business right, they didn't do their so-called considering the cost, you go help them, you thinking that help is good help, when it makes the matters even worse, they're digging themselves further in the hole. And then when they take your money, do it for other means or do it for themselves, you're screaming scammed. Now, I did a video on, you know, how not to get scammed. And it's not guaranteed you won't get scammed. I've been scammed. But we have to understand that even if you feel this unction to get up and move to Africa, you feel America, Canada or UK or Europe is not for you, you know, take your time. This doesn't happen overnight. I see people who I have highly recommended to go visit first, but I've seen people with families children two three four kids even more uproot and move people thinking you can move to tanzania the people that you know you can move to these other countries and don't even understand the visa process
we, we got to be better. There's nothing wrong with helping people. But if, if they can't help themselves, how are you going to help them? How long is this month's help going to happen? Um, help them when next month's coming? If you got to ask for money today, how are you planning on taking care of yourself tomorrow? We don't have enough, enough sense to think ahead sometimes. We only think about today. We only think that, that, oh, well, I'll do something today and let tomorrow figure itself out. No, I'm sorry, family. This ain't the way that most people who are successful have done it. To try to rob Peter to pay Paul is a habit that we black people have here in America. I have found not just here in America, it is a problem we have in our community around the globe in some instances. Not everybody. But this handout thing of always wanting people to help you out, you get yourself caught in a pickle. You would love one pass away. You got to go fund me. You ain't got enough money to spend for to, 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 to pay for a funeral. To each his own. I help many people. But I am not trying to have my channel to motivate and encourage people who are going to be ignorant and think that they can look at how I travel to around Africa when I got the money. I spent $40,000 in nine months in Africa. Now, though I might have traveled to the nine different countries, I'm watching families and I'm telling them, uh, you know, in my consultations, if you got two, three kids, believe me, you better bet on you're gonna spend at least $30,000 a year. $30,000 a year? You better believe it. Do you really think that you're going to live like the average African? Are you really only going to shop in the small markets they shop at? Live in the, the, the smaller houses? Or are you going to go try to live the lifestyle that you lived here in America? Even the poor here in America live way better than the poor people in Africa. And if you're trying to live the lifestyle as a poor person in America and you're trying to go there in Africa, live that same way, you're going to spend $40,000 a year. If it's a family of three to four, you're going to be about $30,000, close to 30, between that and $40,000. I watch some of these YouTubers who got these channels who they're sitting there showing you places they eat. And I know it costs $15 for a meal. You, they, they're, they're showing you they stand in the tourist areas. They don't tell you how much it costs them to be in these these uh, these uh, hotels, these resorts. I did a consultation with a family. They were going to spend forty five hundred dollars for two weeks at a resort. I said, no, 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 no. You can get way cheaper than that. There's no reason you shouldn't be paying more than at least about six hundred bucks. When you don't know what you're doing, you could spend a lot of money. And people, I'm getting the reports, people are moving to Africa and are going broke. How could you move to a place you've never been without visiting? Now, to which is known, if you are one who are a frequent traveler and you got your money in order and you have residual income coming in, I would get that. Some people are banking on starting a business in a country that you don't even know the formalities of starting the business. You don't even understand the business of, of, of how it's going to be when you get there. You're thinking you're going to price your product like you do in America. The average person is not going to pay $5 for a burger. 
the average person is not going to eat out like they do over here in America. The locals might come to your place for a cup of coffee one time because it costs 20 cents to get a cup of coffee off the street. You're watching some of these people who are being interviewed with these big businesses and companies, but you don't know the whole story. You thinking you're going to wind up big going there and starting a business that just does not happen. They have money. A lot of people don't tell you their true story. That's why I be transparent with people, the money that I make and what I spend so that you can see it ain't that easy. We got to get out of our emotions. I've got to get out of where you're from to get to over to Africa. Most of the people that I am speaking to of that going to visit Africa is just that. Go back to Africa. If moving there is one of your desires, well, go visit first. And if you feel as though that you want to just uproot your family and go move, you best have a residual income. Monthly income coming in monthly. If you're going to take your little $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, $30,000 and think you can move your family and I'll get a business up and rolling to be able to take care of us. You got another think coming. Not to say you can't do it. I don't know your ambitions. But time will be running out. While you're trying to get business licenses, trying to get residencies, these take months in and months out. With that family, I'm going to be back on my next video. I'm going to share the top three reasons why people are leaving Africa. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Think about it. Think about it.